In this paper, we wanted to investigate and assess the health impact of Pokemon Go on physical activity. This summer, I was walking around Boston with my friend Chris. Over the years, I've come to learn that he is not a big fan of running or walking. But after the launch of Pokemon Go in July, I saw him running for the first time, chasing after a rare Pokemon character. My friend isn't the only one chasing after Pokemon. This game had become a global social phenomenon with millions around the globe becoming active users. And this got us thinking about the impact of this augmented reality game on physical activity. Using the Amazon MTurf platform, we recruited over 1,000 online survey participants, aged 18 to 35, from all over the US. We selected participants who used an iPhone 6 series smartphone because this device automatically record the number of steps taken by carrying it. In this way, we were able to obtain information about physical activity before and after installation of Pokemon Go. We already know that people have walked a lot while playing Pokemon Go. What we wanted to estimate here was the additional number of steps taken due to the game among the players. In order to do this, we used a difference in difference regression model in which we compared the average daily steps taken each week before and each week after installation of the game. We could also account for the seasonal fluctuations in daily steps by using information from the non-players. So we found interesting results. Before installing the game, there is no significant difference of the average steps per day between Pokemon players and the non-players. But then after installing the game, we start to see a different pattern of average steps per day among players versus non-players. In here, we see that on the first week, on average, Pokemon players walk an additional 955 steps per day. This is significant because this is about 50% of the WHO recommended uh, daily physical activity. But the effect goes away over time. As we can see here, moving forward to week two, three, four, until six, the effect goes away until it comes back to pre-installation level by week six. This is an interesting finding because the magnitude is significant on the first week, but the effect was not sustained over time. And I, I think also there's a great social aspect to these to augmented reality games is that you do sometimes you do them with friends they're intergenerational you can do them with your parents or with your kids of course we want to be concerned about accidents there's anecdotal evidence of people are getting into accidents because they're so focused on their pokemon go but for what we found really was exciting new findings saying that over a six week period you can do a lot to increase physical activity we just have to be more creative about finding ways to get people to keep exercising on behalf of the team, we hope that our research can inform future studies and interventions on physical activity. As researchers in public health, we can learn from these unintentional public health interventions. Pokemon Go is a fun game that gets people out and about exploring the world with others. And we hope that future game development will consider their impact on population health.